Are you going to make any money this year? At this scale, we're not net profitable. Hi, Sharks. My name is Rosa. I'm from San Francisco, California. Growing up as a little girl in China, Grandma taught me the philosophy of food as medicine from an early age. She always brewed these healing tonics with a symphony of wild herbs and botanicals that were great for my health. They worked wonders for me, soothing my stomach and lifting my spirit. Fast forward to growing up me, I worked a lot of stressful jobs and started to feel the effect on my body, mostly in my gut. So I returned to grandma's homemade tonics and sharks, I became a true believer in gut health and had to share her wisdom with the world. And that's when I brewed up Wild Wonder, a sparkling drink that reimagines the healing tonics of my heritage by combining herbal wisdom with whimsical flavors. Our drinks have all the gut-supporting superfoods your body craves, 50% less sugar than kombucha, and best of all, it's the first drink that combines both probiotics and prebiotics. Why? Because better gut health should be as easy as popping over a can. <laughs> Sip on our strawberry passion for a perfectly sweet and tart refresher. Dip into our dreamy pink drink guava rose for both floral and fruity. Try our peach ginger that gives you all the peachy vibes with a zesty kick. Or indulge your senses with mango gold for a tropical and refreshing taste. Sharks, food is my love language and I don't believe in giving up taste for health. I am seeking $500,000 for 5% of this gut-supporting and immune-boosting super drink. So who's ready to put a modern twist on ancient wisdom and join me in drinking our way to better gut health? I'm always fascinated when someone comes into Shark Tank with a beverage deal with a valuation of 10 million bucks <laughs> because I know how hard it is to get distribution and 100 stores, with all due respect, is nothing in terms of what you have to achieve. But that was last there. year, right? That was 2020. Okay. What do you have now? How many stores? So year to day, we've generated over 1.4 million revenue. We're at a run rate of 2.5 million right now. We also have some really exciting launches coming up in the next 30 days. So are you gonna make any money this year? At this scale, we're not net profitable. Food and beverage is a gross margin game. I'm very focused on increasing our gross margins. Rosa, what do you sell them for and what does it cost you to make them? It costs 90 cents to make. I retail for $3.49 and within a year's time, we can get that cost down to 70 cents. How much money have you put into the business? Um, we raised last year 2.1 million. That's all you've raised so far? So we also have investors putting in money right now. Um, what what valuation are these raises at? Last year, we raised on a safe. It's a pre-money save, six million cap. Mm. Look, I admire you. Your story is incredible. The product's fantastic. One of the best, I must say, I've ever tried in the tank. But at 5%, I don't even get out of bed for 5%. For me, I'm out. Sorry to hear that. For me, the risk isn't matching the reward. I think you're in a very, very, very big market. So I'm sorry, I'm out. Sorry to hear that. I can't stand kombucha. I can drink this all day long. And the utility of it, right, with the fiber and drinkability, which one is it that I just drank the whole thing of, the strawberry passion? Yeah. I'll order it. It was really, really good. But Thank you. the amount of money that you're going to have to continue to raise, entrepreneurs tend to kind of try to find an equilibrium of how much they want to keep versus how much they can That's raise. Right. yeah. And it's very, very difficult. It makes it, for a small investor, just 5%. It makes it really, really hard for us to participate in all the upside. So for those reasons, I'm out. Thank you, Mark. You're welcome. I think your product presents as well as you did today. Flawless, really. I know you invested you invest in some beverages. I did. There could twice. be some synergies, Barbara. Well, listen, the first time <laughs> I cried when I lost the money. The second time, I put in more money to follow my bad money. I lost that too. And then I wrote a note to my attorney. <laughs> Signed it, had it notarized, saying, kill me if I ever go into another beverage company. <laughs> and I'm afraid he would kill me, actually. I'm out. Thank you. Well, Tony. I do think, like some of the other sharks, I think this is a category where you kind of have to achieve a minimum scale mm -hmm. before it actually has a chance. Yeah. Your ass was 500,000 at 5%. Yeah. My, uh, my counter to you is the 500,000 and 9%, and that's my final offer. You know, I'm not a beverage guy, um, but I do understand scaling capital-efficient businesses mm -hmm. 
in a very sequential way to have a chance at that success. And I think that's what you need. Um, so the last round, we raised um, pre-money save, so six million cap. Um, I'm happy to meet you somewhere just so that I don't go under that. Would you be able to do 500,000, 6%, but I'll give you 3% advisory shares, just so it doesn't hurt my, my valuation as much, but you'll get the same amount. Done. All right. Good we got job, guys. Awesome. Oh my gosh. I love it. <laughs> oh, we made it happen. The golden ticket goes to my favorite product. I've made you a good offer. That's what I'm talking about. That is the winner. Riding all the way to the bank, baby. Yeah. Yeah. You've come to the right place.